Hey, Mike here with Mike's Bags, and today I'm reviewing the Incinerator by Fire Cornhole. Let's jump into the design here real quick, and this is your basic standard Fire Cornhole design, right? It's got Fire Cornhole in the front, it's got the model down here, Incinerator, back has the Throw Fire logo with Throw Fire on here. Nothing special, nothing fancy. It's pretty much the same design that all Fire Cornhole bags have. They do have a few special releases um, and a couple different designs, but for the most part, this is what you're getting. It's nothing wrong with it, it's fine. What I don't like is is that, especially on this side, you see this side of the bag, you have no idea. It could be any of the models that they have. The only way you can identify it is right down here. I wish they would do something different in the design just so each model stands out a little more than the other so you can see a, a bag and immediately know that's the incinerator, or that's the vengeance, that's the assault, whatever. Again, it's fine. Uh, it is ACL Pro stamped if that matters to you. Um, materials here, this slow side is, it's, it's the same slow side that I reviewed on the Mar the fast side of the Marl Throw. It is the same slow side as the 710 Amnesia. I am not 100% confident, but I think it's the same as the fast side of the slide right. I haven't thrown a slide right in quite a while, but what I recall, I think this is the material they use. If not, it's very similar to that. I'll have to get it, my hands on a slide right just to confirm that. Uh, if you're familiar with the BG Viking fast side, the Pro Advantage fast side, the Viper slow side without the dots, the Widow material, it's it's not the same as that, but it's very close to it. It's in the same material family as that. So it, it's it's in playability and feel, that's kind of what you've got. It gives you an idea, but again, it's not quite the same. It's just a touch different. Fast side is the game changer fast side. Eight speed material. Slow is a set of mentions, a seven speed. Eight speed on the fast side, game changer material. It's fast, but controllable. Pushes through most things, great material. So you have a seven, eight speed. This is definitely a fast, faster bag. So this is a bag for slower boards or people who just love fast bags, right? Uh, fill, it uses that bead fill that Fire uses in a lot of their bags. Um, I, I think Fire has a few. So it, like if you're used to the Assault uses it, um, I'm drawing a blank here, but th that bead fill Fire uses very similar to uh, like the Reynolds Typhoon, very similar to a Game Changer fill. Uh, in fact, this, this bag is a lot like a Game Changer. It's got the square corners you get on the Game Changer set, that template, very square. It's not quite as big as a Game Changer, but it is on the larger size um, as far as template size goes. Uh, here, in fact, here's a game changer here. So if you're familiar with the game changer, like comparable bags, I would say is game changer or the cutthroat by contraband. You're looking at something like this, right? So it, it, it it's as far as playability goes, it's it's a lot like this. The feel, the 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 materials are similar, not exactly the same, all three bags, very close. Um, I, what I like to compare it to is if you love a game changer, but you hate the feel of this fabric patch right here, the suede patch. You don't like the texture or feel of that. This is a great alternative. It's a touch smaller, but other than that, it's very similar in the way it plays the way it, and, and the the gameplay and the feel of the bag, the fill and everything. It's very similar to this bag. Like the corners are cut the same. A lot of similar to the Game Changer. So if you don't like the size, if you want a smaller bag than the Game Changer or you want a bag that doesn't have that patch, Center is a great option. It's very similar to the Cutthroat, except the Cutthroat's a little bit fuller, a little smaller, but a little bit fuller bag. So if you don't like the full bag, you want a little floppier bag, the incinerator is a great option there. So it kind of falls in between the game changer and the cutthroat. So if you're familiar with one of those two bags, you get the idea what you're getting near. Playability wise, this is a bag you're running bags in the hole with, right? You're putting four bags in, you're outscoring your opponent. You can throw a blocker. This slow shot is controllable enough. You can stop it and throw a blocker, uh, but because it's a faster material, it's not really offer much, much resistance. It's gonna push pretty easily. Now it is a bigger template, so it does take a lot of space on the board. I love to throw this, and I've mentioned for other bags, to throw this just on my opponent's side of the board. Just, you know, take that middle on the hole and just come over just a touch over there and block their side. Leave me enough room to step out. I throw the first bag as a blocker. I'm going to throw my next two around, around, make my opponent deal with it. Either going over it, trying to go around it themselves, or trying to go through it, hoping they make a mistake. And then if, if that bag is still there in my fourth bag, I just come slick side. And because you have these big square corners, it doesn't take much. You just clip that bag with a corner, and boom, you're taking both these in. They're super hole friendly. It doesn't take much. You get this bag started in the hole, and with that bead fill, the floppiness, that larger template square corners, but you get it started, it's going in the hole. Very rarely does this bag actually hang up. Maybe occasionally I've had it hang up, but very rarely. It is super hole friendly on both sides. It's it's easily it's an easy collect bag. So if you're throwing a blocker, you can really collect. You can even collect slow sides. Slow sides fast enough, and it's it's not going to stick that much. You can come slow side and collect. The only time I really go fast side is if I've got to push a bag a little further up the board, 
if I've got two bags up there or if my opponent has a sticky bag in the way, then I'm going to go slick side with this game teacher side and push through it. Um, it's a great airmail bag because it is it is that loose floppy bag. It, it grabs that, that lip of that hole. Even if you're off your mail, it grabs it great and flips in. It doesn't really flip out very often. So all in all, I mean, I, I put a lot of bags in the hole throwing this. And, and for me, and I mentioned this when I did the, the cutthroat review, I usually don't like, and I even did the review with the crush, same way. I usually don't like bags that are right close to the other speed. So this 7.8, I like to have a 7.9, a 6.8, 6.9, 5.8. I like to have a little bit of variance in speed because I want to be able to flip the bag over and change the performance without having to change my throw. Because these are 7.8, I flip the bag over, there's not a big difference. But if you like that 7.8 speed, it's it's that sweet spot. If you like, if you like that faster bag, it, you're gonna love both sides of this, and it is a touch faster on that fast side. So if you are trying to push through your opponent's bag, or you find that you're trying to collect slow side and it's just not quite collecting, you flip it over. It, it's just a hair faster. That's probably gonna push through it. It's a great get around bag. So if they have a sticky bag sitting there, this bag will want to hit. It'll spin around and just melt right in the hole. So it's a great get around bag. Um, it's not a great bag for cutting. It does have a look, because it's that bead fill and not that flat disc, it has a little bit of movement when it hits. I've seen Jamie Graham roll this bag. It's rollable. It's not a bag that most people are going to roll. The average player is not rolling this bag. If you're a rollback thrower, you're probably going to roll. You're going to be able to roll this bag. It's not a great roll bag. Again, it's not a great cut bag because it, it it's so fast. It doesn't really grab that bore when it hits. It, it, it'll cut a little bit, but it's not. you're not getting a, a big cut or movement one way or the other with this bag. That being said, it doesn't kick very much. So if you don't throw a flat a flat bag, you're still going to get a pretty straight, pretty true run up on it. So all in all, it, it's a bag designed to go in the hole. You know, Jamie Graham, Matt Guy, the, the two greatest cornhole players of all times. That this is the bag they throw when they're playing doubles. They could throw pretty much any bag out there they want. Now, granted, I know they're sponsored by Fire. They're paid by Fire, so they're throwing a Fire bag. But they could pretty much throw any bag they want. They could get Fire to pretty much design any bag they wanted, and this is the bag they chose. So it speaks a lot about the bag. Again. Pros like that can score points with pretty much any bag they throw. I mean, Matt Guy used to throw a pro advantage. Reynolds pro advantage, and he put a lot of bags in the hole and won a lot of tournaments with it. So I, I'm not saying that just because the pros use it that it's going to be great, but I say the pros can choose their bag. They choose this. Therefore, it's got to be a good bag, right? And I, I love the bag. I, I didn't think I would, but I absolutely loved it. Put a lot of bags in the hole. It's also a great bag for humid conditions. Both these materials play pretty well and still move pretty well in humid conditions. So you get a board that's starting to stick up. You know, say you throw a Surefire. That's your that's your bag, a Surefire or a Deadhead, something like that. Boards are sticking up, getting getting humid and sticky, and that slow side material, that Surefire slow side, is just sticking and not moving. This is a great bag to have in your arsenal to pull out in those cases, and you you can pretty much still play your normal game with it. Uh, again, if you're a fast bag thrower, like you like a Viper or something like that, this is a great alternative to the Viper, um, a cheaper bag. So if you if you don't you like the Viper, you don't like the price of it, or you don't like the fact you can't get one, check out the Incinerator by Fire Cornhole. They're pretty much available all the time on Fire's website, firecornhole.com. I'll put a link down into the description here for you. Go check them out. These bags, I think, last I looked, they're $64.99. For a set of them plus shipping, so you're looking 75, 80 bucks all into your door at the cheap end. In fact, almost at the minimum that they can sell them for. I think the cheapest you can sell an ACL stamp bag is 60 bucks a set, 64.99. You're you're right there at that great value um, for the price and for the bang for your buck. It's hard to beat Fire Cornhole. Incinerator is one of my favorite bags they make. So again, you like fast bags or you play on slow boards? Go check out the Incinerator. I think you're gonna love it as much as I did. I appreciate your guys' support, and I thank you so much for watching.